Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torque Dog was... you know... I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. You know, check in on how you're doing. Oh. Um, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation. But other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. There's definitely something strange going on here. I'm just getting a bad feeling from the whole thing. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people. See what you can find out. You guys have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet, but Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. True that. That's a good idea, Lucas. Thanks. I'm gonna keep asking around about Torque Dog. Good luck. Yes. Happy investigating. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Torque Dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have? What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is... you know... But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I, um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um... He was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm hmm I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey, 
Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity has peaked. He already had me at rare item. Of course he did. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? Hey, I'm just a really good guesser. I was just putting pieces together. I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all here. Everyone? Everyone? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkle! Panic, 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 panic! Stop me! Pull yourself together! Sparkles! Everyone stop moving! There could be more traps! Greetings, adventurers! I am the White Pumpkin! One of you has the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder.
weird. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just has like the before. treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes. I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. 
Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm gonna talk to each suspect, one by one, so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you gonna interrogate first? Lizzie. Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone, probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Wow, would you kill someone for it? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fella, though. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. If you're looking for a likely culprit, I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Who's up next? Can you send Dan in, please? Right. I saw Lizzie on the way out. I don't know what she told you, but... I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I, I don't like uh, accusing people, but my guess would be Stampy. He likes to play it off like he's not interested in it, but I know he wants it just as much as any of us do. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Have you talked to Stampy yet? He loves bows and arrows and stuff. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. 
Thank you. And when Stampy comes in, don't forget to ask him about Redstone. He's amazing with that stuff. Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not, um, as much as the others at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals! No, sir! Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you! It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's friend! I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, nope, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow, what is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yes, yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. What do you know about Redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average? Average level moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about Redstone. What? What, uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at Redstone. Something about being tri-block champion? Okay, 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 fine. You caught me. I do know Redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions leading, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. 
We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? We just need more evidence. Anything that can draw a link to one of these people. Got it. I'm on the lookout. <laughs>